Namaste, this is Monica and I welcome you to today's practice which is a bit on the stronger side and I would say it is more towards advanced practice so if you are a beginner and if you are wanting to try this session you can but listen to your body everybody has to listen to the body I'll also be listening to my body in this practice basically uh, I have included some of the balancing asanas as well which you know I'm also working on it's not that I have got my mastery over them uh, but then yeah as I'm practicing I'll also explain you know explain a bit to you so yeah let us explore this practice together and enjoy ourselves onto the mat without pushing without feeling the need to push ourselves to achieve something we are just going to do as much as we can and then enjoy the practice all together so let's meet on the mat so you can sit in a cross leg position you can place your palms over your thighs, palms facing down and relax your shoulders as you exhale, relax your whole body on the ground. Take your awareness to your breath. And just watching a breath as it is, the way it is right now in this moment. Feeling the temperature of the air in your nostrils as you inhale and exhale. And you can notice the subtle difference, the coolness of the air with an inhalation and warmth with an exhalation. You can feel the same sensation in your throat. Watch your breath flowing to your lungs by noticing the expansion and contraction in your chest. We're drawing all your attention to this moment, to the present moment, to the present surroundings. Feeling all the sensations, feelings, emotions, or whatever is happening in this moment outside and inside you. Settling down in the present moment into the here and now. Let us set an intention to continue this mindfulness throughout the session. Join your palms to the heart center. We will be chanting one om, Sri Shanti is to begin our session. Take a deep breath in. Oh. Shanti. Shanti, Shanti, Shanti. With an exhalation, you can open your eyes, place your palms over your thighs, knees. Inhale, lift your chin up, look up. Exhale, chin to the chest, releasing your neck a bit. Inhale. Exhale, chin to the chest. Inhale. Exhale, chin to the chest, swing your knees together, move onto your Vajrasana, interlace your fingers behind you, inhale, lift your chest up, look up, exhale to fold or you can stay just higher up in the center. Lift your arms, 
maybe your palms pointing towards the ceiling or further down. Inhale to come back up into your Vajrasana. Bring your right upper arm over the left one. Wrap your forearms around, eagle arms and inhale to lift your arms up and maybe sending them away from you. So they're going away and up, away and up. And exhale to bring your arms back down. Let us change the side. Left arm over the right one. Start sending them up and away. So you can feel your shoulder blades going away from each other. And exhale again. Release. Separate your knees, bringing your hips in between your feet. Feet will be parallel to each other and maybe walk your palms a bit forward. If your hips are lifting, that's okay. Maybe support them with a the cushion. Otherwise, you can simply lift. Keep them lifted. That's okay. And walk your palms back. Take your knees back into your forced tabletop. Align your shoulders with your wrist, hips with your knees. Inhale to press your chest down. Lift your chin up. Arc your spine. Exhale. Tilt your pelvic. Chin to the chest. Lift your shoulders and spine. Inhale. Chin up. Exhale. Chin to the chest. Keep pressing your palms down. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. One more time, inhale and exhale. Come back to the center, lift your right knee towards your right and start rotating your knee, taking it down inside to your nose and then take that out onto your right then again down inside to your nose about four rounds like this as your knee come to your nose you also lift your spine a bit and let's change the side rotate into the opposite direction And change the side. Lift your right knee toward left knee towards your left and start rotating. A nice full rotation as much as you can. And change the side. Sorry, the direction, not the side. And come back to the center once you finish all your rounds. Walk your palms forward. Move your chest down. Maybe bringing your elbows down. Lift your forearms up into lace your fingers. And allow your chest to sink down. You can shift your elbows a little, little bit more forward to deepen this nice stress in your shoulders here. You can continue to support your knees with a cushion if you want. And again, bring your forearms back down. From here, lift your, tuck your toes, lift your knees up and start to walk your feet towards your forearms. If your heels are lifted, that's okay. Five breath here. One. Two, three, four, and five. 
walk your feet back to move into your forearm plank and take your chest forward aligning your hips with your chest look forward one two three four and five exhale bring your pelvis back down onto the mat separate your forearms inhale lift your chest into your sphinx pose chin parallel to the floor exhale take your head down palms right next to your chest tuck your toes lift up moving into the downward dog and if you want to walk your heels in and out if you want to loosen up your hamstrings or you can simply continue to stay in downward dog itself and from here bend both of your knees to step or jump forward inhale half lift exhale head into fold inhale raise your arms join your palms together look at your thumbs exhale moving back into your tarasana let us find the rooting here catch hold of your breath feel your feet sticking to the ground torso lifting up towards the ceiling feel that opening in the chest find yourself breathing in and out through your nostrils And we are going to move to Surya Namaskara A. Inhale, arms up. Join your palms. Look at your thumbs. Exhale to fold over. Inhale, head up, flat back. Exhale, do a step or jump back to your plank, Chaturanga. Inhale, upward dog. Look up. Exhale, downward dog. You can either roll or tuck your toes to move into the downward dog, sending those hips back. chest reaching out to your thighs upper arms parallel to your ears exhale to bend your knees to look forward and jump or walk inhale half lift exhale head in to fold inhale arms up join your palms exhale samastiti inhale exhale to fold inhale exhale to your plank lower down inhale upward dog exhale downward dog exhale to bend your knees to step jump forward inhale exhale head in inhale arms up exhale back to your tarasana let us move to surya namaskar b bend your knees inhale arms up exhale to fold inhale head up exhale to your plank chaturanga inhale upward dog exhale downward dog bring your right leg forward left heel on the floor inhale arms up join your palms maybe look at your thumbs exhale back to your plank lower down inhale upward dog exhale downward dog bring your left leg forward inhale align your pelvis as you go up and as you exhale back to your plank lower down <clears throat> inhale exhale downward dog ha ah, let us hold here catching hold of your breath 
relax your shoulders, breathing in and out through your nostrils. As you exhale, bend your knees, step or jump forward. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, head into fold. Moving back into your chair pose. Inhale, exhale, samasthiti. One more round. Inhale, exhale, to fold. Inhale, exhale, to your plank, lower down. Inhale, upward dog. Exhale, downward dog. Bring your right leg forward. Inhale. And exhale to your plank. Lower down. Inhale. Exhale, downward dog. And bring your left leg forward. Sweep your arms up, aligning your knee with your heel. And as you exhale, back to your plank. Lower down, inhale, exhale, downward dog. And as you exhale, bend your knees to step or jump forward, inhale, half lift, exhale to fold, inhale, bend your knees. Arms up. Exhale. Samasthiti. Catching hold of your breath here. And let us move to the big toe. So you can maybe measure the feet, one feet distance or hip distance apart. Hands on your hips. Inhale. Lift your torso. Exhale. To fold forward. Reach out, hook your toes, inhale, half lift. Exhale, lead through your chest and fold. Inhale, look back up, place your palms under your feet, stay in half lift or bend your elbows to fold. Inhale, look back up, hands on your hips. To come all the way up, step two, three feet distance, turn your right foot out, inhale to stretch your arms, stretch the right side, exhale, bending over to your right. Reach out, maybe hook your toe, keep sending your chest back, left arm up, looking at your left palm, left heel pressing down towards the floor. Inhale to come up, right foot in to left foot out. Inhale, exhale to fold. Inhale to come up, left foot in, both of your feet to your right. Inhale, stretch your left arm. Exhale, fold and twist. Left arm outside your right foot. Right arm up. For Parivrata Trikonasana Revolt Triangle. Inhale, come back up to the center and change the side. Inhale to stretch the right side. Exhale, twist and fold or fold or twist. Keep sending this right pelvis back so our hips are aligned and we are twisting from the upper part of the lower back. Place both of your palms on the mat. Step your right leg forward. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, head in to fold. 
Inhale, arms all the way up, join your palms. Exhale, back to your Samasthiti. Step your left leg back, about three and a half to four feet distance. Inhale, stretch your arms up. Maybe join your palms, bend your front knee as you exhale, bringing it over your front heel, Virbhadrasana A. So the left foot can be diagonal or little bit in line with your right foot. So choose your variation here. From here, we are moving to Virbhadrasana C. So you can bounce your left leg up, bringing your chest down. And exhale, bend your front knee, drop your back leg to the back itself. Bring your palms to the heart center, twisting to your right left elbow outside your right knee. Now over here again, if you want, you can take the bind, rotate your arm, placing the back of your palm behind you, slide it up, catching hold of your right palm. One. Two. Three, four, five. Exhale to come into the plank, lower down. Inhale, upward dog. Exhale, downward dog. Bend your knees to step forward. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, head into fold. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, back to your Samasthiti, step your right leg back this time. Inhale, stretch your arms. Exhale, moving into Virbhadrasana. Bend your front knee, bringing it over your front heel. And as you exhale, bounce your right leg up, taking your chest down. And bend your front knee slowly. Bring your right leg back down, join your palms to the heart center, twisting to your left. Find your variation, either keep your palms joined taking your right arm behind you, catching hold of your left palm. One, two, three, four, five. Exhale, release, palms back on the mat. Step back to your plank, lower down. Inhale. Exhale, downward dog. And again, bend your knees to step forward. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, to fold. Inhale, arms up. Exhale. Coming back to Tarasana. Moving into your balancing asana. Shifting all your weight to your left foot. Bend your right knee, catching hold of your foot from outside with your opposite palm and stretch your leg out. Maybe opening your chest to the front and you can open your right arm as well. Exhale to bend your front knee, catching hold of your right foot with your right palm. Stretch the left side of the body, send your knee back and exhale to bring your chest down. And as you exhale, release, let's change the side. Shifting your weight to your right foot, bend your left knee, catching hold of your foot. Extend your leg out, open your chest, arm out. Mm -hmm. 
And as you exhale, bend your knee, catch hold of your left foot with your left palm, stretch the right side of the body, sending it back for Nataraj Asana, and take your chest down. Inhale, come back up. Again, sorry, I took the whole round, I don't know why. <laughs> Shifting your weight on your left foot, placing the back of your right foot over your left thigh. See if you can take the bind, or you can simply squat down maybe. If you can take the right arm around, catching hold of your right toe, inhale, lengthen your torso, and exhale to fold over. Inhale again, look back up, release your hook and bring your right leg back down on the mat. Shift your weight to your right foot, placing the back of your foot over your right thigh. Take your arm around, catching hold of your left toe. Inhale, exhale to start to foot. You can stay higher up, that's okay. Inhale, again look back up, exhale to release and let us do some ankle rotation to release the stress from the ankles. If you want, you can kick your legs out. That also helps a lot to release all the tension from the ankles. And let us step to the top of the mat for the round of vinyasa, inhale. Exhale, to fold. Inhale, head up. Exhale, to your plank, lower down. Inhale. Exhale, downward dog. Lift your right leg up from here and bend your right knee, drop it over to your left. Lifting your right arm up, send your pelvis up towards the ceiling. Maybe looking at your right palm. Exhale to moving back into your downward dog and lift your right leg back again. Bend your right knee. You can either bring it to your nose or bend your elbows, placing your right knee over your right upper arm. And then maybe lifting your left leg up, straightening your right knee if possible. Moving back into your chaturanga. Inhale, upward dog, exhale, downward dog, lift your left leg up from here, bend your knee, drop it over, holding here for a few breaths, two more breaths. Move back into your downward dog. Lift your left leg back up. Bend your left knee and then moving into your balancing asana. You can move to Chaturanga. Inhale, upward dog. Exhale. Downward dog. And from here again, we are going to try a few more balancing asanas. So you can bend your knees and step outside your both of the palms. So let me show you from the front. And you can rest your thighs over your upper arms 
and start walking your feet outward. And whenever you are comfortable, maybe lifting your feet one by one or together, you can tuck your ankle, one ankle over the other, slowly taking your head a little bit more down. And again, slowly opening and then see if you can try and straighten your knee a bit. Even I can't straighten fully. Okay, let us get back down. Let us move into the child pose. Relax for one or two breaths. And then we will try one more. You can press your palms, walk your back, walk yourself back, and then extend your legs out in front of you. Bend your right knee, catching hold of your right foot with your left palm, and then maybe placing your right chin over your right shoulder. So you can simply stay here wherever you are, or placing your right palm on the mat and see how far can you straighten your knee. And it can be very different on different days. You may have a better day to day or a little bit more tight, stiff. Whatever it is, listen to your body, respecting what your body is asking for today. And from here, if you want, you can try and move to another balancing asana. So you can shift your pit, uh, palm towards the Long edge of the mat, again, another palm on the side. Tuck your left ankle over the right one. And then start to first shift your weight over your palms and see if you can lift your hips up. You don't have to go all the way. Just do this much. And then maybe if you can take that momentum, bringing your chest down and straightening your knees to the side. So from here, let us move to the other side. Bend your left knee. Place your left shin over your right, left shoulder, straightening your knees as far as you can. You can simply rest here, that's okay. Whatever your body allows. Let us try and balance on the other side. Place your palms. So the placement of the palm is also very important. It should be mostly in line with your hips, not too far, so that you can, when you shift the weight, your hips weight gets shifted to your palms. And then tuck, start lifting and see how far can you go. And come back. Let us move to round of vinyasa into your plank, lower down to chaturanga. Inhale. Exhale again into your downward dog and from here, let us lie down on our belly. <coughs> Forearms right next to your chest. Inhale, lift up into your cobra. One, two, three, four, five. Exhale, bring your head back down. And from here, bend your right and left knee, catching hold of your ankles or your foot. Inhale, lift your chest and lift your knees off the floor. And as you exhale, bring your knees back down, forehead back down, lift up, and we are going to move to kneeling down position for camel pose. 
You can either tuck your toes or resting your feet on the floor. Inhale, raise your right arm up and exhale to bend over your right heel, placing your right palm over your right heel. Align your shoulders, press your pelvis forward and drop your head back. And come back to the center. Before we relax, one more here. Stretch your right leg out. Inhale, raise your right arm. And exhale, bending over to your right. Sorry, raise both of your arms and then bend over to your right. <clears throat> one more breath here. And as you exhale, place your left palm onto the left side. Bend your right knee, catching hold of your right foot. Send that knee back, foot back as far as you can. And exhale, release, bring your right knee at its place and open your left leg. Inhale, lengthen your torso. Exhale, bending over to your left. Inhale, back to the center, change. Right palm on the right side, bend your left knee, catch shoulder, and send it back. Exhale to again, bring both of your knees back. Let us move to the round of vinyasa. Into your plank, lower down. Inhale, exhale, downward dog, and cross your legs to lie down on your back. Moving into the bridge pose first, hands on the side, press your palms down, keeping your knees bent, exhale to lift your hips up, shifting your weight to your shoulders. And exhale, hips back down again. You can repeat this one or we move to the wheel pose. So place your palms on next to your ears, palms facing down, pressing down. Exhale, lift up. And another exhale, lift your chest up, straightening your elbows. Take that jump up. Maybe coming over your toes if putting your heels down is a little challenging. And exhale, slowly coming all the way back down. Roll yourself back up to move into your Paschimottanasana. Round your back here. A bit longer here. And let us move to the round of vinyasa. Cross your legs, palms on the mat, into your plank, lower down. Inhale. Exhale, downward dog. And from here, we are going to sit in Padmasana, so you can either sit in half lotus, 
or full lotus. So extend your legs out, the back of your right foot closer to your groin. And then either you can place your left foot under your right knee or over if you can. Get into full Padamasana. So both of the side of your feet, feet, my feet is almost touching my groin. That's how we know. And you can also support your knees with the cushion if you want. Place your palms over your thighs, palms facing up. Taking chin mudra, so with the tip of your index finger and thumb touching each other. Close your eyes. We are going to spend, uh, stay here for about 10 breaths. Just watching your breath. Exhale, open your eyes, place your palms right next to your hips or a little closer to your hips. Lift your knees up, exhale to shift your weight over your palms and start lifting your hips up and hold five breath. One, two, three, four, and five. Exhale, come down. Take your right arm around you, wrapping it, placing it over your right toes or right foot if possible, and the left arm around you. So we are taking the bind with both arms here. If your palms don't reach, that's okay. You can stay wherever you are. If you are fully tying up, inhale, lift your torso, and as you exhale, start to fold over. Well done. Keep sending your shoulders back. And inhale, come back up. Exhale to release. Let us take another round, the last round of vinyasa from here. Into your plank, lower down. Inhale, up. Exhale. Downward dog. And you can slowly start coming down. Move into the child pose. And from here, if you want, you can take the option round of vinyasa or directly lie down on your back or shavasana. And allow your body to fall apart, all parts away from each other. Your legs are just touching the longer edge of the mat, arms are away, armpits getting to breathe. Maybe tuck your chin slightly, align your neck with the spine. And relax. Watch into your breath. Watch your breath settling down with each exhalation, how your breath is just relaxing. And with each exhalation, you can watch your body relaxing fully from your head to your toes, from your toes back to your head.
Notice the change in your breath from when we started the session and when we finished the session. There's clear difference how we breathe now. We feel much lighter. We are able to touch the inner silence within us. Mind is quiet. And you can continue in this relaxation for as long as you wish. If you want to come out, move your toes and fingers gently. You can move your head from one side to the other. Make whatever movement that you feel like making in the body and then maybe stretching your whole body. You can bring your feet together and exhale to release, bend your knees, roll over to your right and slowly whenever you're ready come up let us absorb the practice well today's practice even I got tired every day it's a different day for the body so today I think I got a little tired faster than other days but then it's like you know sometimes it is also nice when you're tired and you're still you know practicing and completing your practice and sometimes I just give in so different days different mind different body um, I hope you have enjoyed the practice uh, so if you enjoyed this practice with me you can hit the like button comment and subscribe if you haven't already and let us seal the practice today with one ohm so you can join your palms together Take a deep breath in. Oh. As you exhale, you can open your eyes. Thank you for joining me in. I wish to see you soon again in some other practice. All the love. Bye-bye.